Chris, are we back? Live? We're good. Um, Josh, it said it was a beautiful night tonight in the spinach capital of the world. I can't believe you found that, to be honest. That's a golden nugget right there. You know, it came up before the uh, Airedales football. Really? Spinach capital of the world, Alma, Arkansas. Uh, in fact, um, there used to be a huge Popeye statue in Middletown, if I remember correctly. And uh, it would a whistle would blow out of the statue every time it was time to go to, it's to lunch. It is. This is I mean, hey, accurate. This, this, uh, you guys can look it up. Quote me, people, if I'm wrong. Uh, I happen to come from a pretty reliable source. But enough about spinach. Okay. Because the uh, Cardinals are going to play like Popeye tonight. Four minutes, 30 seconds before kickoff. we got the marching band walking off. I'm surprised they're not all wearing some type of spinach costume. Since it's the, the capital of the world. And I didn't notice anything driving in, but I'll take your word for it. That it is. It's there. The pom-poms kind of look like spinach. A little bit. Okay. What kind of, uh, what kind of team will we be facing tonight? Do you know what, what kind of research do you have? I, I, all right, this is what I know. Right? We can talk records. We can say, hey, they won one game all season. One in seven. We can say they have zero confidence. They season. have zero. But what I can tell you, and this is from a reliable source, we came here last year. Zebra stripes? No, no, no. I said football. I just said football. You're just talking about the ball I mean, bouncing the ball. We, we, we've got, we've got the, the interception on the one yard line at Bologna. The fumble, you mean? And, and the fumble. Yeah. The interception and the fumble. Oh, the, the interception prior to. Yeah. We have the, right, we have the green briar play where the kid gets souffleed by Jimmy Superfly Snooker. Please tell me. You know who Jimmy Superfly Snooker is. I do. Okay. <laughs> he gets souffleed, lands on his feet miraculously, keep running. After the referees blow the play down, yeah. uh, that was a, just a, that was a kick in the gut. Hey, you know what I have come to the conclusion with those refs during that game? Yes. They belong to the SEC. Let's talk about refs for a little bit. <laughs> Let's talk about the lack of just remedial timekeeper education. That little place called Peter. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not a ref at that point in time. I had to give the guy credit. I mean, he was working hard. For I his mean, team. <laughs> and you, you, I, that's exactly right. I mean, how could you not when you're up there in the booth and all that? But that is where we were rewarded for our diligence. We came out with a win. And uh, if you were to see the video, you were to see the sidelines, you were to see the emotion there. This team wants to win. Yes. They love each other, and they're, they're, they're ready to work hard, and uh, they're ready to dominate tonight, guys. Here we go with kickoff. It's go, it's go time. It is go 
showtime. 12 and minutes on the clock. Dean Blandino here thought that I would not have enough to say to fill <laughs> 10 minutes. That's never going to happen. Here's the kickoff from Farmington in the far corner. Fielded at about the six-yard line by Alma. Cuts up across the 20 and then gets land blasted right at the 22-yard line. That was a great tackle. I see them escape a couple of blocks. That's Alec Duncan the right down. there. That's number 45, Alec Duncan. He's come back from his shoulder surgery. Apparently, his shoulder works just fine. His helmet works great. Right? <laughs> yeah, helmet works good. Good job. He speared, he speared him like he was Chuck from Spartacus himself. <laughs> Alma's first down and 10 from their own 22 yard line, moving to the south end zone, towards the south end zone. They're in the shotgun formation with might as well call it three receivers to the far side of the field. Here comes the cross pattern. Out of the backfield comes number 11, and the pass is incomplete. Pass incomplete. You know, uh, as far as off offense, um, talking to some of the Alma Loyals, they've, they've uh, had some inconsistency at quarterback. They've had several people playing quarterback. Uh, there you got, uh, looks like that was Brayden Allen uh, in their quarterback. He's the senior, 6'4", 206 pounds. Oh, the pass was intended for Brayden. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, Evan. Hunter McAllister. That's right, Hunter McAllister. He's the actual quarterback. Number 12, 6'7", 200 pounds. That's a good size. That's a, it's almost as tall as Josh Waggles. I was about to say, that's Josh Waggles' height right there. Going with an empty set against the second time in a row. Alms going with the strategy. Twin receivers to the far side. One comes in motion. Jet sweep. Almost caught in the backfield. Nice pursuit by the Farmington defense, and the Cox. Airedale is going to lose a yard. Compliments of Hayden Cox. Hayden Cox strung that out perfectly. Didn't rush up field. Let the rest of the guys get there, and they took care of business. It's going to be third down and 11, 11.33 to go in the first quarter. Alma's behind the sticks right where Farmington wants it. Alma comes out, trips receivers to the far side, twins to the near side. Shotgun formation for McAllister. Farmington coming on a blitz, and Josiah Ingram, I believe, started it, and Cooper Garden, Cooper Garden, Garden higher sack. finished it up. That was a good disguise on the defense. Went down with three down linemen. Yep. Spread out the two outside linebackers. It looked like they're going to be in coverage, and then here they come. And defense really stepped up and uh, made a nice stand. Uh, I think we always like to start up with defense. I think we like to set the tone early. Here comes the punt from Alma on a fourth down and 19. The ball's going to take an Alma the Airedale roll down to about the 36-yard line. Uh, Farmington, 37-yard line of Farmington, where Farmington takes over first down and 10, 10 38 to go in the first quarter. So here we go with offense. And, guys, you're going to notice that there's someone missing in the backfield tonight. We're out. We're out our tailback. We're out our tailback. Uh, Kate Nelson, I think, is out uh, with concussion protocol after playing, I mean, just super hard yeah, last who, week. Who gets their chance to step up? Who is this? Uh, it could be Ian Cartwright. I can't see down there Ian Cartwright. It does look like Ian Cartwright. High formation from the Cardinals. A handoff comes up to Ian Cartwright. He's going to pick up about five yards to make it second down and five. Left tackle. Is that Brody at left tackle? That was a nice block. Yeah, 67. 67. Yeah. 67 do, they flip, do they flip sides still? I'm not sure. About to find out. That can be if it's set, uh, 67's on your... Sudden in the... High formation, excuse me, in the shotgun formation. Single receipt, there's single tailbacks, Ian Cartwright. It's going to pick up about a yard and a half, two yards. A little zone read action right there. Offensive line did not get as big a push as they would have liked, but still got a couple of yards, set up a manageable third down right here. You know, offensive line's played great all year. Uh, you know, Elsa prior to this uh, is 25 yards shy of 1,000. I'd like to see a five-yard hitch right here. Let's see what Coach Dial's up. Cornerbacks are playing off. Run a flood route. Takes up the side of the pick it up on his own. Nice job, number seven. Got flush out of the pocket, made a hole for himself. He really shows great awareness in the pocket. He, he can he can feel them coming a mile away, and uh, he has such elusiveness. He can 
scatter out of that uh, situation very quickly. And right there, you see it. Uh, he doesn't like what he's used downfield, and then bam, he picks up the first. Twin receivers to both sides. Sutton in the shotgun. Motion sends trips to the left, and then here comes an option to the right. Nice escapability by Cartwright. And then good pursuit by the Yama Airedales as Cartwright gets hammered out of bounds about the 46-yard line. Drops three yards on the play. We motion, try to get these guys in man coverage to motion with our guy. And then run the speed option to the short side. It's just they, they didn't motion across. They had too many people on this side. It was, it was a good design, but uh, coach will remember this one. He'll be able to go the other side next time. Right. Twins, twin receivers to both sides of the field, setting in the shotgun, fakes a handoff to Cartwright, a little bubble screen out to Colin Hummel. Colin gains about five yards on the play to bring up third down and manageable. And I, boys, I tell you, that's not necessarily a bad play. I'd like to have been able to pick up a few more yards, but I'll be honest with you, third down and seven is a whole lot more manageable than third down and 12. Uh, thank you very much. And just uh, whittling away, uh, at the yardage needed for a first down, Hummel makes a great catch uh, and, and makes the most of it. Three receivers to the near side of the field, single receiver. They're twins up top, actually. Ball's on the Elma 49-yard line. Low snap, quarterback draw. Tate, Sut Tate Sutton crosses the 45 up to the 40, breaks across the 40 and gets down to about the 37-yard line of Alma. Brings up first down to 10. A nice job right there. Nice call play. That's Nice play call. Yes. That's a great call. Just go empty set, let two of the outside rushers come up field, Tate takes one step like he's going to pass, and then follows the two linemen all the way down the field for a nice gain. First down, Cardinals. And I'll be honest with you, if I was going to pick a lineman to fall behind, Brody Hill would Brody be one of the one. Eye formation, a little fullback dive. Full, old school fullback belly, I guess, is what you'd call that. We love to run this play. It's kind of a quick hitter. We run a trap block off of this. The center will go opposite of the nose and then let the, the guard come and trap. Right. And uh, it, it was they, – they just had the guys in the right spot. Still, still a good pickup. Right. Pickup of about four yards, make it second down and long six, short seven. Sudden – Flanked on either side by running backs in the backfield and the shotgun formation. Twins to the near side. Single receiver to the top. And here's a slant over the middle that was in and out of the hands of DeCorey Thomas. Or excuse me, Devontae, 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 yeah. Devontae yeah. Donovan. Brings up third down and seven. You know, that's there. That's there again. Uh, Absolutely. And, uh, and, and you got to love the, the look at Donovan on a slant. Uh, he catches that in open space. And there's not too many people here in North Arkansas that can catch him. He is fast. Yeah, that was nice. We, we run a little uh, zone read. Tate keeps the ball and then throws a slant after the linebackers come up to make the tackle. Wide open. And uh, it's a pitch and catch. If we, if we can keep doing that all night, we'll be in good shape. Sutton throws it back across his body, and it's picked off by Alma. Outside linebacker was just coming quick and made a little pressure to throw, but uh, that, that's rare for Sutton. It's rare that he's going to make a decision like that. Almost kind of started out looking like a busted play. It did. It did. They had a they had a blitz coming off the weak side. Takes seen it, scrambled out, was running to his right. That's just a tough throw to come back across your body. So with 7.20 to go in the first quarter, it'll be first down and 10 from their own 32-yard line, and the Airedales got the ball. Shotgun formation for McAllister. Sends a receiver far side of the field as the quarterback draw. It lose one tackle and then picked up again by Josiah Ingram. And they're, uh, I think you might have got some face, face masks. Mask, yeah. Might have. No, those, those mitts were flying, but you got to like the pursuit. you got to like the effort on that. That's a great play all the way up until the point where he grabbed the face mask. Staying with the empty set. I'd we'll like just to see what we do defensively to counteract that. First down and 10 from their own 46 yard line now. McAllister's in the pistol formation. Brings a half back across his face, and here comes a counter to the outside. It's going to be uh, just shy of the first down. 
right out the first down marker. He's pushed out by uh, Cooper Garden Hire. Sam Wells comes up. Uh, you got to like the, uh, the two sophomores that come up and help us out this year uh, on defense. Always a good sign to see uh, some of your young players come in and help out and give you an idea of what the uh, future expects. Second down and eight. Six thirty-three to go in the first quarter. Alma's going to keep coming up. You know the, the tackle gaps, ABC right up the middle. As long as we keep staying spread out, two double safeties are, are back. And uh, as long as they can get those two linebackers blocked, they're going to keep picking up yards. That was a good job by the defense to stop them for two yard game. Here comes a false start called on Alma. Their left guard kind of flinched. It's going to back him up five yards, make it. Second down and 12, second down and 13. Fakes a handoff, throws a little fade route, and that one's going to be overthrown. Not a bad idea, but honestly, guys, wrong side of the field. No, I, would not throw, I would not throw it to number five. <laughs> uh, and number five is with him all the way, playing yep. perfectly. How easy is it on that one-on-one -on -one coverage, especially as a high school football player, not to get the interference call? He, he played it perfectly. That was perfect. That was perfect. And if you're an Alvis coach, you like that one-on-one -on -one matchup, but I guess he hasn't watched enough film on number five because that was perfect coverage. Now Farmington's going to get called for encroachment. Wasn't that a movie with uh, Sean Connery and Catherine Zeta Jones? I missed that. No, that's entrapment. Sorry. <laughs> I should have called that encroachment. Third, it would have been better. Third down and eight. Twin receivers to the far side. McAllister's in the pistol. Brings a receiver across his face. He's got twins to the near side. McAllister, audibles. Six seconds left to go on the play clock. Just a dump out of the backfield to number 11, Braden Allen. He's going to have enough for the first down before being pushed out of bounds by Farmington. Cooper Gardenhire on the stop. Cooper Gardenhire is bringing it tonight. Uh, he's been all over the field. out on the inside uh, linebacker. Cox has had a great season. He's had a great last three seasons. Uh, they just uh, they just called the right play. Zone handoff to off the left tackle. Yeah. Alma linemen are doing a pretty good job against our big boys up front. Yes. Aiden Cox comes in there with the tackle. Now that we're in the red zone, I think that you're going to see defense dial up a little bit of pressure right here. We can stop that run play. We'll be able to push these guys to a full down. Uh, I know Harper and I know these defensive linemen uh, 
that's not going to last for me. I agree. Second and 16. I don't know why I keep looking towards the north end zone when there's a scoreboard down here, too. Dual scoreboard. I, I was wondering how you were seeing it so fast looking this way. I'm, my bad. Empty set. No bubble screen. Called out to Connor Stacy. Picks up about seven yards on the play. Actually, a little more than seven yards. for Connor Stacy. Now in a quarterback. We got a safety walking up. That makes me feel better. Stacy takes it on a design quarterback draw right up the middle. And it's going to be close to the first down, depending on the spot. That far referee, did you notice he kind of veered just a little bit? It is the Alma Airedale first down. James Payne on the big hit there, just uh, right after he crosses the first down marker, they get, a, they get another breath for offense. First down and 10, Alma. McAllister back in the game in the pistol. Hands it off up the middle. Could not tell. 26. Logan Cronister on the carry gets uh, down to about the six-yard line. Brings up second down and five. Be a great time for a blitz package. I'm ready for some pressure. Let's go. Come on, defense. Pistol formation again, twin receivers to the far side. Motion me in is number 24. Handoff goes up the middle, gets crunched about the four yard line, breaks a tackle, and it gets down to the one yard line. That may be a first down. They are calling it a first down. First and goal at the one. Here's where we need the old school stone wall right here. Yeah. I let him in. McAllister goes up under center. First down and goal from the one. Handoff goes up the middle, and now it's in the end zone. Logan Cronister goes into the end zone for the first score of the night for Alma. Good drive by the Alma offense. Their offensive line uh, did a good job on that drive, especially uh, from the 20 yard end. Swinging gate wide open for a two-point conversion is their deep snapper in the back of the end zone. A little, little trickeration there. They, uh, We're not sure where to line up. They quick snap it. Yeah. They catch us off guard there. Uh, kind of reminds us of what we used to do. Uh, we used to do that almost every two-point conversion. Makes it 8 nothing Alma with 2.38 to go in the first quarter. Alma's getting set to kick off to Farmington. Shout out to the class of 2016, 2017. We used to line up like that each time. Is that, is that, was, were that the years that, uh, that we did that? Um, you know, kind of a, a long, steady drive there, but you just got to think that based on what our first drive is, our defense makes a little bit of adjustments. I see Harpy over there with the uh, TV screen going, and uh, you know they're working on that. And uh, offense did not look bad that first drive uh, at all, and so we'll get another little chance out here. Uh, well, the best remedy for something like that is for the offense to come back and do it right back to them. So I'd yeah, like to see us exactly come right. out, sustain a drive, or maybe even break a big play, get the spirits back up on the farm and cardinal football side. Dane Martin's got a teed up for Alma. 2.38 to go in the first quarter. It's 8 nothing Alma. Short end over end kick. Fielded about the 18-yard line of Farmington. 
right up the gut goes. I believe that was Devontae Donovan. And I'm not too sure if he was trying to pitch it or if he just lost the ball. It is recovered by Farmington. It's going to bring up first down and 10 from the 24-yard line. That was a close one. Can we get the ball back? Uh, very lucky to get that ball back right there. Very lucky to get the ball back. We're still in a better position than what we would if we had a touchback. Uh, look at the positives and uh, keep going. Absolutely. High formation, motion for the fullback. We're going to pitch it to the right side. Now my close is quick. And a nice game tackle by their defense. Says so number 25, Kanye Taylor. Uh, he is a uh, move in from Fayetteville. Uh, heard really good things about him in practice. Plays hard, runs hard. Uh, might see some more reps from him tonight as he looks to be sharing some with uh, Cartwright. Looks like Coach sent in the 10 package. We're going to go with a little bit more speed, oversized for this play. Twin set, shotgun. Table to five yard hitch. It's drop. drops for us early in the game, but the plays are there. The plays are there, and, and you know, he's had a couple of rare drops, but we've not, I've not seen Donovan open this much in the game. Usually he's snuffed out yeah. early from the defense, so kind of promising if, if uh, they can forget about him because, uh, again, he can strike. Third down and 12 from their own 22-yard line. Sutton's in the gun, three receivers to the far side of the field. Nice pass to Devontae Donovan. This one's caught enough for the first down as he goes out of bounds at the 42-yard line. And what I like about that play, Tate scrambles a little bit with the pressure, gets out of the pocket, but then he sets his feet and throws it down the field yeah. instead of trying to throw it across his body on the run. That's a great job by number seven and also a good catch. By number five, great poise in the pocket. Uh, how many times would... You see a uh, quarterback just take off and run, uh, and, and he had enough uh, patience and awareness to s step back, like you said, play his feet and see Devontae coming across. Empty set, Sutton's in the gun, three receivers to the near side, twins to the far side. Sutton looks to be audible in the play. Design quarterback draws, Sutton picks up a couple of yards, runs into his own man, and it's going to be no gain. I still think that play is going to be there for us during the game. Pate's, Pate's great on his feet. We just uh, picked the wrong hole, danced a little bit, and then the Calvary got there. Yeah. I'm not against that play call, though. Uh, that's a pretty sizable player to run into. It is. If you're going to make contact with that guy, there's there's not a lot of wiggle room. So, yeah, you're right. He, uh, he misses him. It's a different story. Sudden goes up under center, hands it off to Cartwright. It's going to bring it up, ball up to about the 45-yard line, make it third down and seven. One thing that I've noticed, and the Alma cornerbacks are giving us a 10-yard cushion on both sides. They're, they're packing the box, trying to stop the run. They understand we got some big linemen and a great ground game. I'd like to see more of these five-yard stops, get these cornerbacks coming up, and then maybe hit them something big over the top. Yeah. Throw a couple of hitches and then all of a sudden throw a hitch and go. High formation. Toss sweep to the outside. Goes Cartwright. Got a great block on the outside. Springs him up for the first down and then some. Fullback did a phenomenal job right there. Got around the corner, set the edge on the linebacker. Gives Cartwright plenty of room to go. Who, who was the fullback on that? Was that 70 or was that Chase Brown? Was that 30? I thought that was one of our guards. Was it Wood? Was it Andrew Wood that pulled up? I couldn't tell. I had it, and then I lost it. That's the end of the first quarter where the score is still Alma 8, Farmington 0, but driving as they cross the 50-yard line and have the ball down to about the their Alma's 48-yard line. We'll tweak it. We'll tweak. We'll take a quick timeout. Be right back. You're listening to Farmington Cardinal Football on the Farm Cards Live Sports Network. 
Enjoy juicy burgers, fresh seafood, flavor-packed salads, and more from the new Flying Burger and Seafood on MLK Boulevard in Fayetteville. Dine inside or order online and pick up an hour fly-through for the big flavors you love. Has it been a while since you've had that clean car feeling? Bring it back in a flash with a stop by your locally owned Speedy Splash Car Wash. Plus, they offer free vacuums. With nine locations in Northwest Arkansas, there's a Speedy Splash near you. Every home has electrical problems. A faulty switch, outdated fixtures, or not enough outlets. Buzz has seen them all. What's your home's problem? Call Buzz Electrical through Wednesday and get $50 off your service call and receive a whole home safety inspection on us. Welcome back, Cardinal fans from Citizens Bank Field in Alma. I'm Brian Dean along with Josh Waggle, Josh Matthews. It's first down and 10, Farmington driving at Alma's 43-yard line. Here comes Cartwright up the middle, driving and carrying guys down to the 39-yard line. Pick up about five yards on the play. Brings up second down and five or six. I, the offense looks promising tonight. Uh, I know we've, um, you know, we've not scored yet. We've had one interception kind of on a uh, busted play, but it seems like it's there. It seems like we can move the ball a little more at will. Right. High formation, under center goes Sutton. Hand off to Cartwright. Breaks a tackle, breaks another one, crosses the 40-yard line, gets down to about the 38. Pickup of one yard, make it third down and five. You, you still got to think, if, if Cartwright gets to the outside, he bumps the outside like he was doing there, he, you, you got to like his chances out there on speed. Yeah. When they had him on that little toss, or a little sweep play to the outside, uh, and, and he's got some room to... Run. He's, he's a phenomenal athlete. Yeah, he's got no speed. doubt about it. He's, he's very tough. He's showing some really tough runs today. He's not afraid of contact. And uh, I like what I see in him. High formation, sudden under center. Hands it off to Carwright, straight up the middle. Gets down to about the third, yard, the 35 yard line. Brings up fourth down and two in decision time. Woo. You're down by eight, 10 35 to go in the second quarter. I say go for it. If I'm playing PlayStation right now, I'm going for it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, Why? Not, I'm not. I'm not. PlayStation. Time. Yeah. <laughs> Could be the Xbox, but I mean, yep. you know, the PlayStation is a little more. Twin receivers to the near side, single receiver to the far side. Sutton in the shotgun, flanked by Cartwright. Brings Donovan across his face. Now he's in trouble. Eludes a tra eludes a tackle and another one. Spin moves, dumps it off to Devonte Donovan. Gets down to the 30-yard line, 29-yard line. It's going to be a first down. And, Josh, I tell you what, you want to talk about improvising, there it is. I don't want to tell you right now. Have you ever seen Talladega Nights? <laughs> have you have. ever seen Ricky Bobby? That's what you call shake and bake right there. Okay, that's the slingshot. That was awesome right there. Great improvisation by Tate Sutton. Way to uh, not get flustered, to keep the play going. And uh, there you go. He, he, he's there with Cal Naughton Jr. ready for him. <laughs> Right there. Great play. I, uh, shotgun formation, single back in the backfield. Twins to the far side of the field. Handoff off tackle goes Cartwright. Gets down to about the 20-yard line. Pickup of about nine. Great play. Now, yeah, offense playing with confidence. And, you know, improvising, coming over, overcoming busted plays like that, making something come out of nothing has got to increase the confidence of your offense. Yep. And then you come right back with an off-tackle play, just like that last one. Pick up nine yards. Car rides the single back in the backfield. Sutton goes up under center. Fakes a handoff and then hands it off to Cartwright. Gets across the 20 down to the 15 inside the 10, where it's going to be first down and goal. Farmington. Great job by the offensive line, creating holes, creating channels, and then a great job by Ian Cartwright to just be patient, patient. And, and see that and, and hit the holes hard. Um, great job, Cardinals. I'm liking what I'm seeing. First down to goal from the eight. Farmington trails by eight. High formation, single receivers to both sides. Here comes a handoff to Cartwright. He's going to be swallowed up in the backfield to lose about a yard. Make it second down and goal from the nine. Defensive line just 
close that gap there where Cartwright was wanting to make something happen. Sutton looks like he was motioning over to Spencer Adams saying, hey, I saw something. We may need to call this play. Here's a fade thrown to Devontae Donovan, and it's a little too far and out of bounds. Bring up third down and goal from the nine. Just a bit outside, but I think that's what he was seeing and uh, uh, what he likes. Uh, you got to like the coach on the field down there. Yeah. Well, I... And Wackle, you can you can uh, talk to this just a little bit. Uh, talk, uh, talk with us a little bit about this. When you have a quarterback that sees something and can actually say, "Hey, this is what I'm seeing. What about doing this play?" Whatever he motioned, that can, uh, that, that's a big, big dividend for you. It is. It is, and they trust Tate, and he does a great job with it. Stay up. Ah. They can't call that a fumble. They did. Luckily, it was covered, recovered by Farmington. And Cartwright on the recovery. That's a tough play right there. We've got our tight end coming out on a, on a flag route, wide open, uncovered with their blitz. And just, just not enough time to make that pass. But you give him a split second more, that's a wide open touchdown. For him. Amen. Yes. Savala with a field goal opportunity. The kick is up and it splits the uprights and Farmington's on the board 8-3. to 30-yard field goal by Savala and guys, I tell you what, that's not a bad job. It's not a bad job. I love taking the points. You know, in the, in the past, you know, we haven't trusted the kicker. We've always gone for it. Uh, and, and here you're taking the points when you can and uh, I, I like that early on. Now when you say in the past we haven't trusted a kicker, how far what, do you, what are you considering? I'm talking, I'm talking the maybe those swing and gate days. Okay, so you're going that far back. Going I was going to say, because I'm pretty sure we had a pretty reliable kicker previous to this year. No, I'm talking way back. I'm talking way back. I'm not talking about last okay. year. Last year was uh, Moneyball. You like gotcha. my movie references? We got Moneyball. We got Talladega Nights. <laughs> More to come. <laughs> More to come. It's never a dull moment with you, Matthews. Eight to three, Emma leads it. Seven oh nine to go in the half. Farmington is teeing the ball up on their own forty-yard line. Luis Savala getting set to kick it off to Emma. Trey Buesler and Kevin Mill back to receive. Deep standing about their own seven-yard line. High end over end kick. Going to be fielded about the two-yard line of Alma. Breaks it up across the 20. Tackled about the 23, 24-yard line. Good job by Sam Wells. It looks like that was him on the play. It's a nice job on kickoff coverage. We got three guys to get through there. Their blocks, we get down there. We, we missed a tackle early. Could have had him back, but yeah, behind him back away. Uh, but still slowed him down. Made him change directions, and then everyone got there to clean it up. So good job on the coverage. First down and ten from the twenty. Their own twenty-four yard line comes Alma McAllister in the shotgun, empty backfield, twin receivers to both sides. Motion, jet sweep coming. Nice job there by Terrion Swift. Terrion, my the backfield. wayward son. Oh, man. Hey, I will sing that every time he makes a tackle like that. Who does not love seeing that kid bust through there? And when he gets his paws on you, when he gets his mitts on you, uh, nothing's happening. Here was the thing that I like about that play by Terrion is not only did he break through the line of scrimmage, but then he busted off of a block and then still Ran took the guy down. down. And still ran him down. Three receivers to the near side of the field. Twins to the far side. McAllister's in the shotgun. And there's a little... Just a quick slant. A slant. It, yeah, nice tackle by the safety. Come up. I'll tell you on the previous play, i got to give a shout-out to James Payne, though. He was not in on the tackle, but... Fought off the block, set the edge, was not letting the, the tailback get outside. He had to cut it back up in, and then, of course, Terry on comes in and cleans it up. Third down and five from the 29-yard line of Alma is Alma. McAllister's in the gun, empty backfield, twins to both sides. Big third down. A little five.
five-step drive goes McAllister, and that ball is too high and out of bounds. Nice catch by Clint Scribner on the sidelines. <laughs> Four was thrown to Clint. Uh, do you know why he overthrew that? I'm not going to sing it again, but number 44 was coming right at a beeline on him. And I tell, I tell you what, guys, if you didn't see this guy punting during pregame, he's got a boot. Okay. He had it going earlier in the first quarter, that's for sure. And that one was not very good. I mean, there could have been a little contact. Uh, very well could have been. From the 29, the ball's going to roll out of bounds at Farmington's 48-yard line. It's going to be first down and 10. Good job, defense. Great job, defense. Needed the stop, got one. Now here you go. Let's uh, let's take it 52 yards in five minutes and 27 seconds, and then we get the. I'm gonna see your five minutes and 28 second drive and go one up on you. I'd like a four second deep bomb right here to number four. Let's <laughs> take a shot. No safeties in the middle of the field. Handoff goes to Kanye. Takes it up to the 50-yard line, down to the 49. They are tempting us to throw. Walking the safeties up. They got eight to nine men in the box. Kanye Taylor on the call. Kanye Taylor uh, looked to have really good speed coming uh, right out of the pocket, hitting, hitting the hole hard. Uh, met with initial contact, but he had great forward progression. Uh, picks up a good three or four yards. Good job by the offensive line on that last play, too. They've got everyone in the box, and they're still creating a little right. Taylor, this time, goes straight up the middle and picks up about 12 yards down to the Alma 39-yard line, brings up first down and 10 with 4.48 to go in the half. He needs you know, to go yeah. tap Jowers on the Alma right there. That's right. Pancake block for Jowers and a first down for Fox. Great job by the offensive line. Great job making a uh, Good hole for Kanye. Kanye hits the hole hard and makes most out of it. Here we go again. No safety. Offset eye. Toss sweep to the near side. Kanye gets tackled about the 40-yard line. They're going to give forward progress to the 39, so it's going to be no loss. Brings up second down and 10. So they seem to be doing a, a series change of running backs, kind of like they've been doing with the quarterback uh, first of the season, uh, where they're giving a whole series at a time, although I do see Kanye coming off. Uh, and they're right changing. Back in. Yeah. Right, right back in. They're changing the package a little bit. Trying to ease Kanye into it. Three receivers to the far side. Sudden under center. Single receiver to the near side. Fakes the handoff. Somebody missed a block. And Sudden's going to be down at the 45-yard line. One play action right there. But the defensive end did not bite on the handoff. Comes straight for Sutton by the time he... Turned his helmet up, got his eyes up. He was right on top of it. Yeah. Good play by Alma right there. That was a good play by Alma. And uh, we're talking a second later, we're talking that could have been a pretty good hit on Sutton. So uh, yeah. I think he avoided a good one there. Uh, Third just long, came in I on the blind side. Back. I'd like to see another crossing around right here. It's dead. It's a bubble screen. Got a, got a blocker out in front of him. Is that DeCorey? That is uh, Devonta. Devontae Donovan. Devontae Donovan. Picks up a little over half of it, brings up fourth down and four from the Alma 33-yard line. Sutton gets it out there quick. And, I mean, who doesn't want it in Donovan's hands and space? Yeah. Exactly right. Everybody cheering for the white right here. Wants Donovan to have the ball. Toss sweep reverse. Donovan's got the ball. It loses the tackle. Has nobody out there to help him, and he's going to pick up no gain. And it's going like to be a turnover on down. It, it looked yeah. like he was trying to throw it. It looked like there was a little reverse pass. And I can't see down there. That could have been like uh, Colin Hummel. Colin Hummel. You're exactly right. They're looking for a reverse pass right there. That's why Donovan's not going full speed. I think if he's full speed right there, he picks up the first down. But yeah. kind of slow playing it, looking for his receiver is what caused the delay. And then that, that gave Alma a chance to get to it. So turnover on downs for Farmington. It brings up first down and 10 for Alma from their own 33-yard line with 2.36 to go in the first half. Farmington needs a big stop. McAllister's in the gun. Twin receivers to both sides. Throws a little bubble screen. 
this two missed tackles there by Farmington before DeCorey Thomas cleans it up. Pickup of about three yards for Alma, second down and seven, with 2.20 to go in the half. Alma leads it eight to three. McAllister's in the pistol formation, twin receivers to the far side of the field. Hands it off up the middle, off the tackle. Cooper Gardenhire misses his dip. Never planned, but no matter how small, every emergency that involves a child is a big deal. Northwest offers the only pediatric emergency room in Northwest Arkansas with fast access, pediatric experts, and kid-sized care. Peace of mind when you need it most. Welcome back, Cardinal fans from Alamo, Arkansas. I'm Brian Dean bringing you action alongside tag team partners Josh Matthews and Josh Waggle. It's 1.50 to go in the first half, 8-3 Alma. Alma's got the ball at their own 39-yard line, facing a third down and five. Three receivers to the near side. Man right to the ball on him and uh, really pursued him. Uh, tough run, good pass. That's, that's a tough one to go the, uh, uh, our defense has been able to quickly come back. Um, we've played on our heels before, and it kind of brings out. It's going to be a huge momentum boost for Farmington. Your wayward son. Carry on, my wayward son. I got permission from Barry to say that. <laughs> I hear you. I got it. I got it. I got it. It's going to be first down and 10 from the. Farmington 19 yard line inside the red zone goes to Airedales. It doesn't have to be Terry on, it can be anybody. Connor Stacy in the shotgun formation. Fakes the handoff, goes straight up the middle. Met by a host of Cardinals after a pickup of about two yards. You can tell they're ready to make a stand right now. Clock is rolling, buck 10 left in the half. Second down and seven comes out. McAllister's in the gun. Twin receivers to both sides of the field. Three-step drop, fires across. Slant pattern down to the five-yard line goes Connor Stacy. They kind of find us on the other side of that. They just kind of, yeah. That's a, in an empty set, if we're going to play our safeties off 10, 12 yards, the slant's going to be there all night. So that's an adjustment we'll have to make it happen. First down a goal from the three. Callister is in the gun. Three receivers to the near side. Rolls to his right. Throws across the middle and it's picked off. Interception. By Jacob J. He's up to the 20, 25, 30, 35, go. 40. He's got a host of Cardinals in front of him. I like Crosses this. Crosses the 50, cuts Ray. inside down to the 35. Tackled at a 31-yard line. Jacob J. I see those blonde locks hanging out of that helmet. I see that interception. I see him going there. I got one word for you. Woo! The great Rick Flair. Rick Flair. Woo! The greatest thing about that play right now, guys, no laundry on the field. You're it's going to exactly be first right. down. Farming. Exactly right. And, and, and good job on the uh, farming defense to not hit that uh, block in the back or, or do any illegal blocking down there, uh, allowing Jacob Trey to make something happen, and he comes up with a huge play. Yep. Three receivers to the far side. Sudden in the gun, 24 seconds to go in the half. Sudden steps, steps back, looking, 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 fires across the middle. Down to the 20 yard line is Farmington. That's the double deuce. That's Elliot. That's Elliot. Uh, Elliot, Elliot Thompson, ET. Good job, offensive yeah. line, giving some time. It's going to be first down. Stop the clock with 15 seconds to go, and a timeout is called. And I believe it was called by Farmington. Uh, Elliot Thompson with some nice hands there. Uh, yeah. Takes Sutton with a ton of time, like you said. Good job, offensive line. Getting Time to be uh, comfortable with the pocket. I love it. If you're going to give Tate Sutton time to make a decision. Yeah, we actually had a big play. Uh, that's that's a great pass and a good look by Tate. But rolling away from the play, uh, we've got Donovan who, who broke deep wide open. And, uh, and that's something that the coaches are going to see. And I, I guarantee you that big play opportunity is going to happen in this game. It's been there all night. So watch for that. I put my stamp. Guarantee. <laughs> Played to Donovan before the night's so. over. Put it Waggle. in the bank. Waggle seal. 15 seconds to go in the half. Farmington's down by five, eight to three. 
Ball's on the 21-yard line, first and 10, Farmington. Twin receivers to the near side of the field, single receiver up top. Sutton with a three-step drop, fires across the middle, slant pattern, and it falls harmlessly to the ground incomplete. With Harmless damage. Uh, we've got the same slant open that they've been burning us with, and, and we returned the favor. Unfortunately, we weren't able to complete the deal, uh, but uh, I do like that matchup. Absolutely. And again, that's a catch of the ball. Yeah, that's, that's three drops that we've got on really important drives. I really, that, that adds up to only three points in the first half of this. High formation, sudden under center, three-step drop. Battle for it at the goal line is won by nobody. So the ball falls to the ground. Incomplete by Devontae Donovan. That's a tough catch. He's got the defender right there. Back shoulder throw by Sutton. That's a yeah. really nice ball, honestly. It is. You can put it where only one person can catch it, and that's our guy. So. Yeah. Donovan, good job. Good job of the body placement. Uh, just uh, that, again, that's such a hard catch to complete, but he put his body where it needed to be against that defender so that he could uh, make sure there's no interception, just wasn't able to come down to play this time. Farmington looked to be setting up for a field goal. I believe they did not have enough people on the field and Tay Sutton wanted a timeout. Six seconds to go in the half. Six seconds in the half. They take the timeout and try to make adjustments, but... Uh, Get the field goal here, guys. You like going uh, in halftime, eight to six? It's better than going to halftime, eight to three. It is. And I'll take a safety. I'll take a touchdown. I'll take whatever we take to. Another field goal wins it after this. That's exactly right. I got a feeling. <laughs> you got a feeling of what? Tonight's going to be a good night. We got a 37, 38 yard field goal right here. Yep. This will be a good kick if we get this through. I'll be very impressed. Luis Savala stands at his own or at Alma's 30 yard line, ready to do a 38 yard field goal attempt. And Alma jumps off sides. Nope, before that, they called a timeout. Trying to ice the kicker. So another timeout. Farmington called one because they were unsettled on the field goal formation. Now Alma tries one. I think they're trying to ice the kicker. There's no doubt. That's, uh, that's a strategy a lot of coaches take. Yep. I mean, you've got the timeouts. Um, the thing about it is, you might as well use them. You can't take them into the locker room. You can't take them locker room. They're, they're done at halftime. Now the question becomes is, do you do it again? I mean, he's got two left. <laughs> In the absolute leg we had last year. What was that, Drew Sturgeon? That was Drew Sturgeon. He had a launch leg. 38 yard field goal attempt from Farmington coming from Luis Savala. Another timeout call. Here they go with strategy. <laughs> That's going to backfire on you, coach. You might as well count this three now. Focused, I'm telling you. That's all it does. Every time. At, at this point, why not just call up a fake? It's like five ants. Have Terry on come right, right through the middle on a little touch pass, and have Sutton just stand up and dump it over. You to know, Terry has got some hands too, he, and he's got some wheels he's for a big old boy. And some wheels. You're exactly and, uh, right. Not just that. Do you want to be the safety coming up and stopping that? Uh, no, sir. I don't want to be anybody coming up to stopping that. I'm letting him run by. Back his I'm sticking my foot out trying to trip him. Dan Skipper tackle. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You're exactly right. Speaking of big old boys, Dan Skipper's a big old boy. So after the third time out of this sequence, second one by Alma, here comes a 38-yard 30 yard field goal attempt by Farmington's Luis Savala. Now Farmington jumps off sides. I really think that they were jumped because of Alma, but they're not going to get the call. So that's going to back him up five yards and make it a 42, 43-yard field goal. Uh, 
According to the score clock, Alma does have one timeout left. Yep. Uh, watch for the uh, watch for the ice. 43-yard field goal attempt now, coming from Zavala. High snap, and it's going to be blocked. With one second to go. The high snap really got him off. Yeah. He stopped his footwork coming towards the football. Alma was able to get in there and make a block with a really a lackluster attempt right there after so many timeouts to get prepared. But we're okay. We're okay. It's a five-point game. I feel like we have the better team. A couple adjustments at halftime. Still let anything crazy happen here with this one. Like you said, Dean, betting 16-0. Very true. We're 16-3. Just like Alma is going to take it. Yep. I'll tell you, the keys to the second half. Big plays on offense. Sustain some drives if you don't get the big play. Defensively, a little bit more pressure. When they get that empty set, let's walk up a little bit. They've not right. burned us deep. Let's not give them that, that quick slam. Uh, have the linebackers come up on the off-tackle zone read. Tackle the quarterback. We win by two touchdowns. Go in, go in more to a bump and run, or do you just play him a little tighter? You just play him tighter. I mean, you don't got to come up in a bump and run. You can to throw them off. But you might, they might try to hit you with a fade or, or audible into something different. Right. But just know that that slant's coming. Walk up a little bit. Either pick it off like Jacob J did, uh, or at least be there to, to make a play on the ball. You know, and offensively, we we see lots of things that are potential there. We got a little muffed catch here. We yep. got a, a little missed assignment blocking there and. We're in the ball game, but not just that. We're, we're winning. Yeah. So uh, I think there's lots of uh, positives to take away offensively, uh, and defense is just going to have to keep grinding it out. Uh, like you said, step up and uh, uh, play that, play the slam, and secure the ball. I mean, the thing, it, it, you know, we can we can count on. Norm, uh, you know, normally we, I mean, at this point in the ball game. Devontae Donovan, normally sure-handed, but tonight seems to be just a little bit off. I mean, I, I remember four drop balls that very catchable. And by securing the ball, I don't mean just, like, protecting it. And protection-wise, I mean, when it's thrown to you, hit you in the hands, catch it. Yes. Secure it into your hands before you take off and run, that sort of thing. So limit the drop passes. Protect, obviously, your quarterback. Don't have any, you know, and, and then be on the same page. Know what play is called because we've seen at least three busted plays in the first half from Farmington. A couple of them, Tate Sutton's done a nice job and opened up, reverse field, and then, you know, scrambled. But in the long run, everybody on the same page, everybody executing their assignment, we're in good shape. I agree. Uh, you know, the, the drop pass is just, uh, to me, that builds confidence. Devontae Donovan's not used to being thrown to because he's usually in triple coverage. True. You, you, you can put three guys on Devontae Donovan, and uh, you can take out the majority of the receiving uh, staff that we have. So now that he's open, that's very promising. That might be the reason that he's had a couple of drops. You see this mind? It could be. I am yeah. single coverage right now. Why am I so wide open? I'll give him this, though. Amen. It, a little bit up in his head right now, but he's run great routes. He's been open on almost every play. Right. And he goes in there, slaps himself in the helmet a few times. He's going to come out and pick out. I'm telling you, so I will guarantee Devontae Donovan is going to have a good play for touchdown. Seal. I love you. I like it. The waggle seal. The waggle seal of approval. That's right. I like it. And, not, it, it and, and don't get me wrong, guys. I ain't bashing on Devontae at all. It's just the fact is we've seen him drop a couple balls. Normally, you know, you got we, we've seen him double team, triple team. And even though that we've seen him doubled and triple teams and against teams in the past, when we've thrown him the ball, he's risen to it, he's risen to that opportunity and said, you know what, I'm, I may be triple covered. Go ahead. Throw it to me. I'm going to beat these three guys and still make the catch. And sometimes we've seen it even in the pros to where when somebody's doubled and triple teamed and they have to they have to rise to the occasion, they do so. And then when they're wide open and the ball hits them right in the chest, right in the hands, the ball goes out and falls to the ground. Well, Clayton Williamson is looking at me like, how long are you guys going to talk? I've got some really <laughs> cool commercials to play. Uh, and uh, uh, it's, it's, like you're, it's like we're cutting in. 
to our sponsors here, and, and, and he's letting us know about it. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna run a few commercials so that uh, Clayton will quit cussing us, and uh, we'll be back. We gotta get Clayton paid. That's yeah. <laughs> Real estate is like football. You want a winning team that knows how to run offense and defense, knows the plays, the competition how to score, and isn't afraid to get a little dirty. The McNaughton team knows two important things. One, how to help you buy, sell, invest in, and manage real estate. And two, how to cheer on the home team with an awesome tailgate event. For all your real estate needs, visit us at allnwahomes.com. McNaughton, your neighborhood community realtors. Every home has electrical problems. A faulty switch, outdated fixtures, or not enough outlets. Buzz has seen them all. What's your home's problem? Call Buzz Electrical through Wednesday and get $50 off your service call and receive a whole home safety inspection on us. located on Highway 62 between Prairie Grove and Farmington. Terry Harden carries staple brands such as Mayo, Best Chair, Ashley, Rastonic, and Vaughn Bassett. Terry has over 20 years of experience in the furniture business, and he works hard to keep a well-stocked inventory, but has many more options available through custom orders. So come by and see Terry Harden at Harden's Furniture for all your furniture needs. He'll treat you right. saving up for or ready to start thinking about and building your dream home from the ground up if it is that time for that decision to become a reality for you wait no longer and reach out to bauman and crossno construction established in 2013 mike bauman alongside with michael and lane crossno bauman and crossno construction specialize in residential custom homes general contracting multi-family homes and other specialized homes as well Having lived in Northwest Arkansas for a combined 61 years, Bauman and Crossno Construction are no strangers to the Northwest Arkansas and Farmington areas. They can be reached at www.baumancrossno.com. Bauman and Crossno Construction, where your dream home can become a reality, are proud supporters of Farmington Cardinal Athletics. Go Cards! for you and area businesses, building one dream at a time, helping people and businesses build their futures. Let LRD Construction put your puzzle pieces together for you. Whether it is siding, gutters, or roofing, at LRD Construction, trust is just one of the things we build well. Licensed, bonded, and insured and located right here in Northwest Arkansas, LRD Construction can make your dreams a reality. They can be reached at 479-750-4422 or on their website, lrdconstruction.com. LRD Construction is a proud supporter of Farmington Cardinal Athletics. Go Cards! Every home has electrical problems. A faulty switch, outdated fixtures, or not enough outlets. Buzz has seen them all. What's your home's problem? Call Buzz Electrical through Wednesday and get $50 off your service call and receive a whole home safety inspection on us.
Are you in the market for some exterior or home improvements? Is your home ready for new siding, gutters, or metal roof, or asphalt roof? Do you need a new metal building or a shop? Give Foster's Exterior Solutions a call today. Locally owned and operated right here in Farmington since 2008, Foster's Exterior proud supporter of Farmington Cardinal Athletics. Hello, this is Kerry Pitts with Foster's Exterior Solutions. Please give us a call for all your roofing, siding, and gutter needs. We're at 479-445-9799. Go Cardinals! Being helpful is what Arvest Bank is all about. And part of being helpful is listening to our customers, which is why Arvest Go, our mobile app, was recently certified by JD Power for providing an outstanding mobile banking experience. You can easily pay friends, securely lock and unlock your cards, plus deposit checks, pay bills, and more. So download Arvest Go today. Arvest Bank, ready to help. switch, outdated fixtures, or not enough outlets. Buzz has seen them all. What's your home's problem? Call Buzz Electrical through Wednesday and get $50 off your service call and receive a whole home safety inspection on us. Enjoy juicy burgers, fresh seafood, flavor-packed salads, and more from the new Flying Burger and Seafood on MLK Boulevard in Fayetteville. Dine inside or order online and pick up in our fly-through for the big flavors you love. Has it been a while since you've had that clean car feeling? Bring it back in a flash with a stop by your locally owned Speedy Splash Car Wash. Plus, they offer free vacuums. With nine locations in Northwest Arkansas, there's a Speedy Splash near you. Every home has electrical problems. A faulty switch, outdated fixtures, or not enough outlets. Buzz has seen them all. What's your home's problem? Call Buzz Electrical through Wednesday and get $50 off your service call and receive a whole home safety inspection on us. Accidents are never planned. But no matter how small, every emergency that involves a child is a big deal. It's everything. That's why we're here. Arkansas Children's Northwest offers the only pediatric emergency room in Northwest Arkansas with fast access, pediatric experts, and kid-sized care. Peace of mind when you need it most. how to run offense and defense knows the plays the competition 
how to score, and isn't afraid to get a little dirty. The McNaughton team knows two important things. One, how to help you buy, sell, invest in, and manage real estate. And two, how to cheer on the home team with an awesome tailgate event. For all your real estate needs, visit us at allnwahomes.com. McNaughton, your neighborhood community realtors. Every home has electrical problems. A faulty switch, outdated fixtures, or not enough outlets. Buzz has seen them all. What's your home's problem? Call Buzz Electrical through Wednesday and get $50 off your service call and receive a whole home safety inspection on us. Conveniently located on Highway 62 between Prairie Grove and Farmington. Terry Harton carries staple brands such as Mayo, Best Chair, Ashley, Rastonic, and Vaughn Bassett. Terry has over 20 years of experience in the furniture business, and he works hard to keep a well-stocked inventory, but has many more options available through custom orders. So come by and see Terry Harton at Harton's Furniture for all your furniture needs. He'll treat you right. saving up for or ready to start thinking about and building your dream home from the ground up if it is that time for that decision to become a reality for you wait no longer and reach out to bauman and crossno construction established in 2013 mike bauman alongside with michael and lane crossno bauman and crossno construction specialize in residential custom homes general contracting multi-family homes and other specialized homes as well Having lived in Northwest Arkansas for a combined 61 years, Bauman and Crossnow Construction are no strangers to the Northwest Arkansas and Farmington areas. They can be reached at www.baumancrossnow.com. Bauman and Crossnow Construction, where your dream home can become a reality, are proud supporters of Farmington Cardinal Athletics. Go Cards! For you and area businesses, building one dream at a time, helping people and businesses build their futures. Let LRD Construction put your puzzle pieces together for you. Whether it is siding, gutters, or roofing, at LRD Construction, trust is just one of the things we build well. Licensed, bonded, and insured, and located right here in Northwest Arkansas, LRD Construction can make your dreams a reality. They can be reached at 479 750 4422 or on their website, lrdconstruction.com. LRD Construction is a proud supporter of Farmington Cardinal Athletics. Go Cards! Every home has electrical problems. A faulty switch, outdated fixtures, or not enough outlets. Buzz has seen them all. What's your home's problem? Call Buzz Electrical through Wednesday and get $50 off your service call and receive a whole home safety inspection on us. Are you in the market for some exterior or home improvements? Is your home ready for new siding, gutters, or metal roof, or asphalt roof? Do you need a new metal building or a shop? Give Foster's Exterior Solutions a call today. Locally owned and operated right here in Farmington since 2008, Foster's Exterior Solutions is a proud supporter of Farmington Cardinal Athletics. 
Hello, this is Carrie Pitts with Foster's Exterior Solutions. Please give us a call for all your roofing, siding, and gutter needs. We're at 479-445-9799. Go Cardinals! Being helpful is what Arvest Bank is all about. And part of being helpful is listening to our customers, which is why Arvest Go, our mobile app, was recently certified by JD Power for providing an outstanding mobile banking experience. You can easily pay friends, securely lock and unlock your cards, plus deposit checks, pay bills, and more. So download Arvest Go today. Arvest Bank, ready to help. from Citizens Bank Field in Alma, Arkansas. I'm Brian Dean bringing the action tonight. It's halftime with Alma leading Farmington 8-3 alongside tag team partners, the Double J's, the Double Joshes, Josh Matthews and Josh Wagner. It's an unstoppable force. It is. Josh, I'm telling you. Stephon Eriks. It, Might as well just call us Stephon Eriks. I was going to go Killer Bees there for a minute, but you went back even further I'm, to the Von Eriks. I'm going to take the Von Eriks. I like the Von Eriks. I tell you, I grew up on them. Growing up in South Texas, in Corpus Christi, the home of the Von Eriks, it's hard to not like the Von Eriks. Clayton Williamson looks like a Von Eric. Which one? <laughs> no, this, this Clayton right here. No, 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 no. Which Von Eric? <laughs> All right, so, you know, we had an interesting conversation coming into this. We talked about the offense, the defense. We're just on the cusp. But then after tonight, win or lose, we're the fifth seed in 5A West. Unless some weird anomaly happens, but yes. Yes, we have all kinds of scenarios. We're not going to play that game. But due to the rules, due to COVID, there's a playoff game next Friday. Correct. What are possibilities? So the fans here can understand what are some potential places to to go. Yeah, some of the cards are going to be next week. So a couple of the different scenarios could be Magnolia. Uh, we could also end up in Texarkana, Little Rock Whitehall, or at Little Rock Whitehall, Green County Tech, uh, Valonia. Uh, and there's a sixth one in there that I'm sure that – I didn't mention, but I mentioned a while ago by we Raw Fair that I can't think of right now. Did you say Bologna? I did yes, say Bologna. Okay. Bologna, Little Rock, Whitehall, Camden, Fairview, Green County Tech, Green County. Magnolia, and uh, Texarkana. Just as the season win, I'm, and as a fan, is watching these guys play, I would love to see these guys have another chance at Bologna. I agree. I like the Bologna matchup. Uh, the Mountain Home team, Green Green County Tech. Green County Tech. Yeah. Now, is that, that's literally a Votex school? You're it's asking welding, me. Welding I mean, only. then we've got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> they welded the face mask onto the. So uh, I'm not from around this area. I mean, uh, I'm not as familiar with it. All jokes aside, yeah, it's I, not a Votex school. I don't know why it's called Green County Tech. I have no idea. Either one of those matchups, though. I think it's a good matchup for Farmington. Obviously, the Bologna rematch be something where we both know a little bit about each other and Farmington's in that game so right. you feel confident going to Bologna having a chance to advance uh, some of those other schools the Texarkana team the Magnolia team uh, they're going to be a different type of matchup it's nothing that Farmington couldn't handle yeah. but maybe not someone that they'd want to see in the first round right so if you want to play the would have could have should have game you take this offensive performance, I know we're only three points in there, but just the way we moved the ball, and our only real mistakes have been mispassed, one interception under pressure. I like the way this offense is playing. If you were to take this offense and play Bologna a few weeks back, I'm, I'm loving that outcome. Yeah. I, yeah, I think that we've got a good strategy. That, now, the defensive coordinator for Alma, you got to give him a little bit of credit. He's, he's forcing us to pass, and we've 
really struggling with it. It's been there, it just hasn't connected yet. And he's loading the box, he's trying to stop the run. He knows we've got big offensive linemen, he knows we can move the line of scrimmage, and we can march the ball right down the field on him all day long. Right. So his strategy's been good. What kind of changes are we going to make? But I'm with you. This offense is looking nice. Uh, we connect on a few other plays. And, and this team could go win another game yeah. next week. Next well, you know, you talked about the defensive backs playing off us so much. And you want to talk about loading the back, the box, playing off our receivers, daring us to throw. Tate Sutton's got a great short game. Yes. He, he can put the ball into some very crafty receivers, and I love our odds out there in the flat. Yeah, well, in, in this thing, I mean, with their cornerbacks and their safeties playing off of us, and Josh, you alluded to this earlier, uh, waggle that is, you know, why not just throw a couple of hitch patterns, a little three-yard stops, five-yard stops, nickel and dime them, and then all of a sudden they start creeping up, and that's when you hit them with a hitch-and-go or a stop-and-go type route or just run verticals and then, and, and then go. I mean, it's one of those things that it's there if we're patient enough to just take nickels and dimes at first and then go for the home run ball. And it's going to help the run game, too. It takes a little pressure off the yep. offensive lineman having to make a hole every play. So there's, there's a lot of things that we can do. And I, I think you guys are going to see Coach Adams make those adjustments right here. Cartwright from his own two. Brings the ball across the 10 up to the 15. Gets tackled down at the 19-yard line. Yard line. Yeah, he's just about at the 20. Um, he wanted it. He, he, he fielded that uh, very confidently. And uh, it just felt like it was in slow motion. Yeah, it did. holding their blocks, but they're kind of you know deep into the territory. Cartwright just never got a full head of steam. Yeah, he runs better with a full head of steam. He sure does. Once once he's got his team built up and hitting, he's got some wheels on it. High formation comes Tate Sutton up under center. Twin receivers to the near side. It's just a little draw off the tackle. Follow him behind big number 67, Brody Hill. Across the 20 up to the 24-yard line. Pickup of about four. Great push by the offensive line. Uh, and, and, again, Cartwright just being very patient behind his blockers, being confident in his blockers. Uh, second and four. That's a go-to play for Farmington. It's a, it's a counter where we're actually pulling two linemen. Uh, and it does take patience for Ian. But, but a great setup and a good first down pickup. Dotted eye, handoff up the middle to Cartwright again. Breaks across the 25 up to the 27-yard line. Just shy of the first down. Bring up third down and about a yard and a half, two yards. And here we go. We're coming right at them. Load the box, but here we go. Good old smash mouth football. This is the play where you got to be able to do that. I mean, yep. Third and short, you need a first down to keep the drive going. Count on those big boys. Let's get a push and let's get this first down. Like, I, like I've heard to them referred to in the past, the big hog mollies up front, they've got a job to do and they can do it. Back to the counter. Counter goes car right up over That's the 30, down to about the 31-yard line. Be enough for a Cardinal first down. Like I said, the uh, offensive line did a great job. Uh, very aggressive up front, pushing the uh, uh, defensive line back. Uh, Cartwright didn't even hit contact until after the first down. Yeah, that's a good play. It's a good way to, to counter a defense that's loading the box and, and bring it downhill pressure. Get them going offline just a little bit, pull a guard, get a block, and then you get a first down. So good job. Kanye comes off the left left tackle across the 35 down to the 36 yard line. Yeah, Maybe pick up about there. five yards. There's an explosiveness about it. You, yeah. you feel like that at any point in time he's going to take off, and and that's there. You're 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 pounding with Cartwright, 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 and I really think we can expect a flash play for some big yards from Kanye. High formation, up under center goes Sutton. Handoff to the fullback. Eon. Eon. <laughs> Ian. Got eons and eons of yards on that play. And that's a play, guys. Looking back at that play, it's just a simple fullback off tackle, fullback dive type play. And if you remember, about this time last year, we saw that play time and time again. Ran by the Cardinals, handed the ball off to Josh Stedmeyer, and then all of a sudden, Stedmeyer would take it 57 yards to the house. 
Shotgun formation for the Cardinals. Twin receivers to the near side, single receiver up top. Three-step drop and pump and fire, and it's blocked at the line of scrimmage. Hits the ground. Nathan Whalen there for the block for the Air Devils. Brings up fourth down and four for the Cardinals from their own 37-yard line. That's their tight end defensive end, their defensive lineman, 6'7", 215 pounds. I mean, that's a lot of arm. That's, that's a lot of arm coming yep. in there having to throw. The plays there, though, no, no safeties over top. we got single coverage up top. Uh, Donovan, he presses him off. Has a 10-yard stop. It's a first down guarantee as he gets that ball through. Sudden back deep to the punt. It's a high, booming punt away. Good hang time. Coverage team is there for Farmington. James Payne was just hoping that that boy did not put that hand up, but unfortunately he did. Uh, he was. He was ready. And, and you got to like that special teams play. A uh, great punt by uh, Tate Sutton. Uh, like you said, lots of time for the, uh, the, the punt team to get down there and uh, cover that. And time for the defense to get nasty. 40-yard punt off the foot of Tate Sutton, if my math is correct. It's probably just his big toe. <laughs> McAllister's in the gun formation. Twin receivers to the far side. Single setback. Pressure coming. McAllister just lofts one up, and it's caught by Alma at the 39-yard line. That's a big that ball. Yep. Connor Stacy goes up high for that one. Two receivers there for Alma, and it ends up in the shorter guy's hands. Well, the, the, the positive about that play was they were going for their slant again, and we, just, we come up and covered him. Right. So he had to retreat, get out of the pocket, and really just made an errant throw that ended up good for, for Alma. But that's what we want. We want him throwing off his back foot to just a random green jersey. That's exactly right. Three out of five times, that's an interception, maybe more. Stop pattern and the ball is going to be incomplete. Uh, I hope that now they're going to call a target. If they call targeting. That's that's going to be. Now the question is, is who they're going to call it on to? I hope it's probably 99. I hope it's not. I hope it's neither. Both of those guys are such key players. Yeah. And that's one of the that's one of those questionable calls. It is. Receiver goes up, comes down, and ducks his head. Receivers to the top. McAllister's in the gun. Fullback or quarterback keeper straight up the gut. It's going to be brought down by Cooper Gardner. Cooper Gardner. Gardner make a great play. He took on the, the lead block by the fullback. And still made the tackle on a quarterback that's 6'7", 200 pounds himself. Yeah. It reminds me of this. Tim Tebow. Yes. This Garden Hire wanted to make sure we pronounce his name right. Cooper Garden Hire. Apparently the some of the visiting announcers have uh, had some problems with that, but he is, he's been playing like an animal tonight. 
How do you mess that one up? Is it copper? That's exactly right. I think it's the garden hire, maybe, to make okay. it be uh, okay. <laughs> That pass goes in and out of the hands of number 84 for Alma. That is Nehemiah Relevant. Right That's a quarterback making a pump fake, freezing yeah. the, the corner, and then here they go down the sideline. It's very fortunate because he dropped that ball. Twin receivers to the top. McAllister's in the gun. Scrambles around, gets down to about the 33-yard line. Pick up of about three, four yards. Bring up third down and six. It's been by Josiah. Job by the defense right there. Yeah. No push from the offensive line. You got an extra blocker in there when you're running the quarterback. So they've got an overlooked situation in the first place. And the defense makes a good stand. Now Alma's going to take a timeout with 7.06 to go in the third quarter. Alma leads at 8 to 3, driving at, their, at the Farmington 32 and a half yard line. We'll take a quick timeout. Be right back. You're listening to Farmington Cardinal Football on the Farm Cars Live Sports Network. Every home has electrical problems. A faulty switch, outdated fixtures, or not enough outlets. Buzz has seen them all. What's your home's problem? Call Buzz Electrical through Wednesday and get $50 off your service call and receive a whole home safety inspection on us. Enjoy juicy burgers, fresh seafood, flavor-packed salads, and more from the new Flying Burger and Seafood on MLK Boulevard in Fayetteville. Dine inside or order online and pick up an hour fly-through for the big flavors you love. Has it been a while since you've had that clean car feeling? Bring it back in a flash with a stop by your locally owned Speedy Splash Car Wash. Plus, they offer free vacuums. With nine locations in Northwest Arkansas, there's a Speedy Splash near you. Every Welcome back, Cardinal fans, to Citizens Bank Field in Alma, Arkansas. It's 8-3 to three, Alma, 7.05 to go in the third quarter. Alma's driving down to the 33-yard line. Third down and seven. Quarterback keeper again, met by a host of Cardinals after a pickup of about one. Great job by defensive line collapsing on them. Hayden Cox coming in there. Hayden Cox. Quick his nose. Yes, there. he yeah. did. He, he came barreling through there, uh, finished that off. Uh, he was going nowhere after that. A fourth down and six. Alma's offense stays on the field. McAllister's in the gun. Pressing the slam run right here. start against Alma. It's going to back him up five yards, make it fourth down and 11. To me, with an, a five-point lead, 6.33 to go. Boys, I just say put it away. Try to pin him at the one. I hope they go for it. Well, I do too, but and don't pick it up, but nonetheless. There they go again, breaking the huddle with 12 guys, and a guy runs off at no call. Backfield. Empty backfield, three receivers to the far side, twins to the near side. Cardinals come on a blitz. That ball is high and overthrowing, incomplete, and it's going to be a turnover on downs by Alma. I love the defense that we played right there, We're running man to man, bringing pressure, making the quarterback make a play. And as you can see, with no time, he's just throwing that up. Now, am I missing something, or is that not illegal formation? I mean, illegal Every time to break in the 12? Yeah. I mean, that has in the huddle. They're in the huddle, then they break it, and the 12th guy runs off the field. That would be the substitution. Nonetheless, first down and 10 from their own 37-yard line comes Sutton and the boys. Sudden quick out route, or quick pass out to Devontae Donovan, pickup of about three yards. I like it. Let's start working the edges here a little bit. Open up the run game for them. our fastest players on the team, the ball, in the and, open field. Yeah, that's got to get the attention of the defense, which is, is eventually going to open up the ground game up the middle. And a stop-and-go opportunity. Throw a long ball. High formation, sudden under center. Little trap play. It's going to go nowhere. In fact, it's going to lose a yard. Ian Cartwright. It's going to bring a third down and eight. Trying to go back to our counter right there. It looked like they had a stunt. Just so happened to be right in the spot we were going. So yeah. they got a little lucky. 
Sutton's in the good. Little low slat, no snap, rolls to his right. Got a wide open Colin Hummel at the 30, 41 yard, 46 yard line. Goes down to the, about the 44 yard line where forward progress is stopped. It's going to be enough for a Farmington first down. And Good. there, and there we hear it from all the way over here. Oh, there she the is, <laughs> Mrs. Payne. Thank you for coming to the game. Uh, we, I'm sure you've been here all day. This is the first time we've heard you. Uh, great snack, my Colin Hummel over there on the far side, uh, keeping this drive alive. Hummel up top, Devontae Donovan to the near side. Sutton's under center in the I formation. Hope we give uh, Miss Payne something else to cheer out here. Sutton looks to be audible. Three-step drop, quick fire to Hummel. Hummel does a nice job snagging that ball from behind him. Picks up 11, gives the Farmington another first down. That's exactly what we were hoping for, guys. Yeah, that slam. Hitting with the slant and the stops. Just picking them apart on the outside if they're going to play single coverage and they're going to give us a cushion. That's all night long. And that's their game plan, you know, coming into this. That's that's kind of what the Morrison Scout Report said. That they like to play man. They like to play one-on-one. -on -one. Same play. Sudden. It's going to be tackled in the backfield. Loss of about five. And a flag comes flying in. Was that on the second guy? Jumping on the pile. I'm not sure if it was that or the helmet to helmet blow that takes it to him. Face mask. Face mask. Okay. It's going to be a 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. You know, as the play fell apart, he was he was wanting yeah. our near side receiver to go down. I couldn't tell if that was either uh, Donovan or Brown. Uh, That's one in film tomorrow. Tate's going to take a little bit of a shoe and he's got to get rid of that ball. Going to be first down and 10 from the 23 yard line of Alma. It's so 358 to go. For number seven, though, he, he improvises so well. Yeah, he does. He's very elusive. He's made people miss like that so many times. It's hard to get away from extending the play. He, he thinks so well on his feet. He, he's I mean, got that old triangle button on the PlayStation. He does. He, he does. Cowan has come to just don't even call the play. Just run what you do. He, he improvises so well. I formation, sudden under center. Little counter to Ian Cartwright. He's going to break a tackle. Stays on his feet. A yard. So after that face mask, they moved it up first and one. Where were we? Yeah. That's a straight one. It, it, it is. I guess the 15 yards was not enough for a first down, but it's an automatic first down. Nonetheless, it's second down and one. I'll take it. <laughs> Either way. Here's what I would like to see, Waggle. I don't know if this play goes far enough back for you, but I'd like to see twin receivers to the near side of the field and run a scissors route. Have the inside receiver break to the back, to the uh, back corner, and then an outside receiver break into a post. Whichever one of those guys goofs up, you've got a wide open touchdown. Kanye Taylor on a really hard run. He he makes that first down happen. Uh, that's, a, that's a formation the coaches call jumbo package. And so we're bringing in uh, a defensive lineman and an extra offensive lineman. So we're just going to go right at you to try to get that first down. Saw that earlier in the year when Josiah Ingram broke it in across the plane and scored a touchdown. Taylor with a carry, pickup of about three yards, bring up second down and seven. 2.26 to go in the third quarter. Eight to three, Alma leads it. I'm dialing up a fade route to number four right here. Dotted eye formation, three step drop. It's, it's a slant pattern to number four, and he drops it. Receivers to the near side, Hummel and Devon Donovan. 
Fakes the handoff. Little wheel route. That one's picked off in the end zone. Trey Fusler with an interception in the end zone. Shaquille finds it. That's another one that takes the one half back. That's two yards further, and that's a touchdown for Farmer. Yeah. Again, guys, just, just on the cusp, defense is going to come out here, get us to stop. We're going to have a, a good field position. We're back in it. Yeah, I made mention a while ago about the scissors route. Have one run a post, one run a corner, and it's it's there. That was my favorite play call on the hill back in the day at Houston Nut. Gun ride stronger, jet two, scissors. Touchdown almost every time. McAllister's pass is complete. The number five, Jacob Corsi. Pickup of about eight yards. Bring up second down and two from Alma's 28-yard line for the Airedales. We had him sniffed out. We did. He made a good move. Made a, one of our defenders miss. Was able to pick up eight. We were there right at the point of catch. Twin receivers to both sides. McAllister's in a gun. Slant pattern again. Slightly overthrowing and incomplete. Bring up third down and two. I'm not sure if McAllister's rattled or not. These last three or four passes have been really, really off target. Looks like they just yeah, they, they took him out. Gonna settle him down a little bit. And Connor Stacy in the shotgun for Alma. Quarterback draw, boys. Motion man goes across the field. Here comes the quarterback draw. Almost wrapped up in the backfield. And there's Josiah Ingram right at the sticks. It's going to be enough for a first down. Yeah, he's bringing the chains, but a great play by Josiah. He did everything to keep that first down from happening. I wish Terry on could have held on to that jersey. Yes. It would have been a loss of three. So it's first down and ten for Alma from their own 30-yard line. You got to expect a run right here. I don't think the coach has a whole lot of confidence in number 12 back here. That's McAllister in the gun. Fakes a handoff to the flanker. A dive or a draw play right up the middle to Brady Noyles. Jacob J having a great night tonight. He comes up and uh, with his speed, he's he's just not afraid of contact. He'll he'll come in there with all he's got and uh, he stops a big play there. 20 seconds to go in the third quarter and Alma's just gonna let the time roll out. So much action going on in the backfield. All these guys look like they're just reading and reading and reading instead of just playing. Here we go, guys. Fourth quarter coming up. Yep. Fourth quarter on its way. It's 8-3. to Alma leads it over Farmington. We'll take a quick break. Be right back. You're listening to Farmington Cardinal Football on the Farm Guards Live Sports Network. Accidents are never planned. But no matter how small, every emergency that involves a child is a big deal. It's everything. That's why we're here. Arkansas Children's Northwest offers the only pediatric emergency room in Northwest Arkansas with fast access, pediatric experts, and kid-sized care. Peace of mind when you need it most. Third down and one 
Farmington needs a big stop. This is the play the defense needs right here. Get the momentum back. Watch the quarterback draw. Here he comes. Gets across the 40, up to the 45, down to about the 48-yard line. Goes McAllister. It's enough for Alma first down. formation twin receivers to the near side five step drop goes McAllister and that ball is incomplete intended for Connor Stacy Thomas seen that route it wasn't his receiver that he was uh, that the quarterback was throwing to but Thomas seen it broke off of his receiver and just about made it there yeah. to get a pick that was good awareness by DeCorey Second and ten. Pistol formation goes McAllister. Most man comes from the right to the left. Handoff goes up the middle. Breaks the tackle. Gets down to about the 30-yard line, 31-yard line. It's going to be just shy of the first down. Jake J comes up, makes a good stop. Uh, of course, that's what we need him to do is the safety. Uh, he's, he doesn't hold on. That's, that's a different story. So. Yep. Guys, that's a tough play, I'm telling you. Open field with someone running full speed. Jacob J on that tackle right there is a, I mean, that's a touchdown save. It's a great job. Callister's in the gun again. Little quarterback draw. He's across the 30-yard line down to the 28-yard line. It's going to be enough for Alma first down. Clock continues to roll. Alma continues to drive. Alma's working the clock. They're doing a good job of getting a push up front. They are. Throwing it just enough to where Coach really can't bring too much pressure, too much heat. Uh, but we've got to do something here pretty quick as they near the red zone. Yeah, we need a breakthrough play here on defense. Get to it. Uh. Just off the hands of Sam Wells. Not sure who he was throwing it to. There was uh, no receiver down there. I think there might have been some miscommunication. He was thinking a, a fade of something. Uh, didn't look like anyone was there. They either got uh, stopped up the line of scrimmage or just uh, miscommunicated. Sam Wells, really good hustle effort. Uh, just barely comes up short for the It looked like he IMT. got a fingertip one. He did. Yeah. Brings up second down and 10 from the 28-yard line. McAllister's in the gun. Twin receivers to the near side. Motion man is Connor Stacy. And it's going to be offsides, Allen. Bring up second down and 15. That infraction was by Braden Menardis. Second down and 15, 8.35 to go in the ball game. 8-3 to three remains the score. Alma over Farmington. Menardis was a yardus across the line of scrimmage. Menard <laughs> dog. 
Uh, maybe he'll do it again. Twins to the top, single receiver to the bottom. McAllister in the gun. Fade route to Stacy in there. That's going to be a flag. Yeah. The pass interference or holding called on to Corey Thomas. I feel like DeCorey just got a little nervous that he was beat, but closed the, the distance, and I don't think needed to grab him right there, but it's a tough spot to be in. You, you can't give up a touchdown. And it, it's tough. If, if you're going to make that play and save a touchdown, it, it, it's, a, it's a good penalty to have. So they're going to call pass interference. It's going to be 15 yards. Josh, do you agree with that call over, over holding? I do. Okay. Yeah, I, I think it was a pass interference. Holding usually gets called a little bit closer to the line of scrimmage when the receiver's trying to make a break. Gotcha. Uh, DeCorey's closing the balls in the air. I just saw a hand go on shoulder pad and kind of tug it backwards. It could have gone either way for sure. Right. Single receiver to both sides of the field. Pistol formation for McAllister. Handoff goes up the middle. Looks to be about a gain of one, bring up second down and nine with 8.20 to go in the ball game. Good job defense. Defensive line got a nice push on that. Really broke up his, uh, the, the running back stride. Reaching and looking for a hole, and it just didn't happen for him. Only one yard. That's what we like to see. Twin receivers to the far side of the field. Empty backfield with Connor Stacy in the gut. Fakes the jet sweep, takes it right side. Breaks two, three tackles, four tackles. And then finally hauled down about the eight-yard line. Should be enough for a first down. That's a good run. Yeah. It is a great run. From up here, it does not appear that Connor Stacy is very very small I should he's only 5'5 five five. right he's, he's a I small mean, he, guy. He, he is small no doubt but he's playing a lot bigger than 5'5 five five. and here he goes right up the middle and the turf monster got him luckily because I think if he's on if he stays on his feet he's in the end zone yeah that he had the momentum going so uh Colonel defense gets a break there and uh, let's capitalize guys Cardinal defense gets a break we just had a 12th player on the field. Just one that doesn't count. It's a turf monster. It's okay to play with the turf monster. 12th man. They've had 12 men in the huddle all night. Exactly. Yeah, I'm going their jumbo package. Callister's in the gun. Comes left side. I believe there's going to be a holding call on Alma or an illegal chop block. At the five-yard line. 6.42 to go in the ball game. We'll check the flag. I'm a little surprised that Alma switched back into this package. Yeah. And the running back's doing so well in that wildcat formation. Yeah. Looks to be called a chop block. For those of you who don't know, illegal chop block, Josh Matthews. Play Correct me if I'm wrong, Waggle, but... I've got a guy engaged on the upper side. You come in and you take out his legs. That's exactly right. Two contacts by two different players. One goes high, one goes low, and you don't get called 90% of the time. It's going to bring up second down and 21 from the 21. Second and goal. That is right. Second and, second and goal from the 21. Play yeah. clock's running down. They, they must be calling a timeout right here. they do. They're going to play the clock against us. Alma. 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 Modern. <laughs> so 6.15 to go is 8-3. to three. Alma. And I'll tell you what, if I wasn't sitting here watching this game on a gridiron and you told me the score was 8-3, to three, I'm thinking we're playing baseball. Or softball. It's a strange number for sure in a football game. A lot of up and down, it seems like each team when they get in the red zone. 
we're fumbling, we're throwing interception, we're yeah. something to turn it over. So the points on the board, just not a lot of fun for these no. sports fans out here that want to see some touchdowns. No. It, it's almost like neither team wants to score. You know, but there's there's been movement. There's just not been scoring. Movement on both sides of the ball. In between the tens, you're right. Yes. <laughs> and I would love to give the defense credit for making these stops, but I, I really feel like the offense just keeps biting themselves in the butt. Yeah. Yeah. So here we go with 6.15 to go in the ball game. It's second down and goal from the 21. Alma with the empty backfield. They got... Bunch receiver, bunch twin receivers on both sides. Now they split out, go trips. They've got a big guy down here. Throws across the middle and it's incomplete. High and overthrowing, thankfully. Thankfully, because that was there. Yeah, that was a nice little wrinkle. They, they spread five out. Yeah. Two up top, three down low. To give you a look that we're going for some type of bubble or quick pass. Yeah. And then we've got an eligible tight end right inside, running straight down the middle of the field, wide open on a couple. Yeah. That uh, was a big tight end. That, that was a big tight end. And uh, thank goodness for us, he missed that. Three receivers to the top, two to the near side. McAllister in the gun. Quick slant. Caught about the 17-yard line and taken to the ground. Excuse me, that's the 12-yard line. Nehemiah Relaford on the reception. And there, there you have the slant again at the same time I, that I've been saying we need to press that and cover it. When you're in a third and goal, you want to go ahead and give that up and just make the tackle. So uh, I'll give it to the defense on a nice play right there. Farmton is going to be <laughs> calling the time out there. Everybody on Alma's side was just screaming, snap the ball. Yes. Snap the ball. A little bit of confusion right there. Yeah, late substitution, bringing the field goal block team potentially on. Now, are we going for a field goal block right here? Are we going to play some prevent and just keep ourselves within eight? Because if we go too hard and they run a straight play, then uh, it's exactly goes the game over. That's a good question. I go prevent. And they've taken the time out to discuss it, so uh, I don't think they were thinking field goal at first. Yeah. And here's the thing. Alma kicks his field goal. Let's say it's successful. They're only up eight anyway. So all we got to do is bring the ball down, score, get a two-point conversion. And we know that we've seen throughout this year that a two-point conversion, generally speaking, is on our side. Yes. You brought up numbers on the scoreboard. If they make this, when's the last time you've seen an 11-3 to three <laughs> football game? It has, uh, I don't know that I've ever seen it. comes a 30-yard field goal attempt from Alba, and it's a fumbled snap. And Here we go. 87 is taken down in the backfield. That was Dane Martin. All right, Coach. Martin did a nice job of getting that ball. If I can get into the coach's headset, I'm going to help Coach Adams right here. Coach, we want to fade route to number four Donovan as deep as Tate can throw for a touchdown <laughs> on two. You've been asking for it. It's like your Christmas list. It's like the Red Rider BB gun. You've been asking for it all night. You're not going to shoot your eye out. You're going to score a touchdown. Let's get it. Offset eye formation, single receiver to the top and to the bottom. Sudden under center. Fakes the handoff. Intended, that pass was intended for Elliot Thompson. Just rolling out of the backfield into the flats and Sutton threw it a little too far in front of him. Yeah, just let him a little bit. Elliot had a step. I feel like he could have got the first down. It would have been coming back anyway. And now we get called for an ineligible receiver downfield. That's Brody. Brody was down. Brody was ready to go block somebody. Yeah, he was. He, he didn't have enough contact. He was looking for it. Uh, and, you know, Sutton, that, that's kind of his specialty. He likes the play action. Yeah. We've not seen the play action much tonight. Yeah, it kind of surprises me, honestly. High formation. Sutton under center. Kanye's in the backfield. Handoff goes to Con Kanye. It's hit in the backfield and then spins out of the tackle. And here comes a flag. In the area of a hold. Top block, 
Hold on for me. Waggles, you mentioned that earlier, that the offenses seemingly shoot themselves in the foot. Yes. And there we have Those another example of that. That is it. It's uh, If it's a drop pass or an interception or a missed block, it just seems like the offense looks so good until it's time to, to finish the play. And then here we go backwards. That one should be half the distance. We're still in first down. Yeah. It's going to be first down and about 20 from their own seven. Shotgun formation. Quick pass goes out to Donovan. Comes inside. Breaks outside. Up across the 10. Another flag there. I believe that one's going to be a uh, face mask call. Should be the 15 variety. It jerked his helmet around. Yeah, I thought he lost the football at first, and then I realized what was going on. Should be 15 yards and an automatic first down for the Cardinals. Yep. There we go. Not a first and two. We have actual first down this time. An actual first and ten. <laughs> yeah. Spot the ball down at the 29-yard line of Farmington. 5.19 to go. Clock is rolling. 8-3 lead for Allen. Kanye's in the high formation behind Sutton. He's got a hole following his blocker up the middle. Pickup of about six-yard line, five yards on the play. He was ready to go. He yep. was. The lead blocker was not running fast enough for him. He really just explodes through whatever the, the offensive line gives him. Um, and you just got to feel, again, he, he busts one tackle, he's gone. High formation, sudden under center. Hand off to Kanye Taylor again. Runs into his own offensive lineman. Picks up about yard up to the 35-yard line. Landon Burkhardt for Alma on the stop. So third and four here, fellas. Third and four. High formation come the Cardinals again. Three-step drop for Sutton. Out pattern to Colin Hummel. Caught at the 45-yard line. Enough for the first down. Colin Hummel's been very reliable tonight. That he has. That's the play we want. That's the play we want. We want that soft coverage. That's exactly right. Six, seven, eight yard stops. And keep the chains moving. Good job offense. Good job offense. Way to convert. Keep the drive alive. Pistol formation comes set. Single receivers to both sides. Takes a handoff to Kanye, rolls out to his right, floats one up to Elliot Thompson, caught at the Thompson 35 and nice down to the grab. 30 yard line. A nice a grab great, by Elliot Thompson. Great concentration yes. for number 22. Turns and runs upfield from the direction of his quarterback who's scrambling, catches the ball in the middle of the side above his head and still pulls it in with two defenders on top of him. So that, that's a nice touch and nice ball from Tate Sutton. Yes, well. Sutton direct, directing traffic out there. Thompson and him on the same page. And again, like you said, great concentration, great Off, catch. Offset eye, Taylor gets a handoff, goes up the middle, breaks across the 35, down to the 30, maybe the 29-yard line, right at the 30 is where they're going to stop stop the ball. Gain of four, second down and six. Some inspired running right there. Yep. Our guys going hard. And here we go again, approaching the red zone. What can we do with it this time? 2.44 left in the game clock. Car rides to fullback, gets the handoff, breaks across the 30, up to the 25, down to about the 21-yard line, blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Forward progress and stop, but they kept letting let him go. They're going to spot the ball at the 15-yard line with 2.27 to go in the, in the ball game. It's going to be first down and 10, Farmington. In the red zone we go. 
Nice little fullback trap there. He gets the ball one yard behind the line of scrimmage and breaks it. Really good run, well blocked. Plenty of time. Tying our shoe, that's what's happening. Tailback. Toss sweep to the left side. Kanye's got it across the 15, down to the 10, hops through a tackle and gets tackled about the seven yard line. Great hard run. By Kanye Taylor. Nice uh, um, addition to our offense uh, tonight, seeing him come through and, and running hard and, and playing hard. Apparently there's a flag. It's going to be called against Farmington. Holden is called against number 72, Andrew Wood. I think he was put in at fullback there. He was the uh, lead block on that. Power run there. It's going to bring first down in about 22 yards. Sudden with the three stop, the three step drop, rolls to his right. There was a face mask. There you go. The unfortunate part is I think that was going to be called incidental. It's be a five yard variety. Although he did turn his head, so he did. He whipped him around. So he called a personal foul. First down. This game begins for the coaches. What do you do I'll with take the, the 15 26? over the five? Right? I would too. So it's going to put the ball back at the 15 yard line. Bring up first down and 10 with a buck 25 to go. Clock's running. Minute 20 left. We've got two timeouts. They have one. You got to hurry, but you don't have to go full speed. Cartwright with the handoff, follows the block. Go, go, go. Breaks to the outside. They're going to call flag. holding on. Yep. They're going to call holding. And from this area up here, Josh, I saw a good block. I saw a great block. So he was inside the shoulder pads. Yep. Sealed him off, turned him. That's a tough call. I can tell you Mike Adams is not happy with it. Thompson dropping back 10 yards from the spot of the foul. Spot the ball at the 24 with a minute three to go. Kind of two steps forward, three steps back. Wouldn't mind three steps forward, one step back. How about no steps back? Now another flag. There's another flag. think that this one may be sideline warning. It's a sideline warning or it's a 10-yard penalty on the sideline, but it's definitely the coaches getting at the, the ref on that whole call. We're going to move them back. What a, what a call to make with a minute left Whoa, in the game. What a dagger. You've got to realize your coaches are going to be heated after you're calling back a touchdown. Uh, especially, yes, after that. And, and you can't take a little bit of jaw and move them back 15, trying to take the game out of the, out of the player's hands on the coach. Yep. It's going to spot the ball at their 39-yard line of Alma. Sutton's in the gun, rolls to his left, throws across his body. And they're going to call that pass incomplete. I don't understand that one. He catches it, brings it to his bread basket. They're goes calling it out of bounds. They're, they're saying he stepped out of bounds when he caught it. Oh, boy. It's going to bring up second down and 34 from the 39-yard line. Throw the red flag. Let's review that one. <laughs> that looked like a catch to me. Looks like a catch to me. 58 seconds to go in the ball game. Sutton's in the gun, twin receivers to both sides. Three step drop, pumps, unloads, and that one's underthrown and picked off by number 17. The 
across the 40, up to the 45, 50. You've got blockers in front of them. Down to the 45, 35, down to almost the 30-yard line. Flags are all over the place. Now we've got a red flag down here, too. That one's abnormal. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a towel off of one of our, our oh, players. Okay. That's <laughs> Unfortunately, this one's going, I mean, the play is going to stand. Yes. And it, it is during the return. They're going to move them back, but it's, unless it's something I don't know. It looks like Alma's going to be able to take a knee and, and take this one to the house. We got an injured Cardinal down on the ground. I believe it's Andrew Woods. So we'll take a quick timeout with 42 seconds to go in the ball game. Alma leads it 8-3. to three. You're listening to Farmington Cardinal Football on the Farm Guards Live Sports Network. Real estate is like football. You want a winning team that knows how to run offense and defense. Knows the plays, the competition, how to score, and isn't afraid to get a little dirty. The McNaughton team knows two important things. One, how to help you buy, sell, invest in, and manage real estate. And two, how to cheer on the home team with an awesome tailgate event. For all your real estate needs, visit us at allnwahomes.com. McNaughton, your neighborhood community realtors. Every home has electrical problems. A faulty switch, outdated fixtures, or not enough outlets. Buzz has seen them all. What's your home's problem? Call Buzz Electrical through Wednesday and get $50 off your service call and receive a whole home safety inspection on us. We're back, Cardinal fans. We're checking the flag on the play. Setting penalties, unsportsmanlike conduct on the bench of Farmington. Well, they are after our sideline. That's the second one. And Mike Adams is out on the hash, ready to discuss this one with him as well. The other one was it looks like Harper's coming block. out there too. Um, but we've called a timeout. That's why Harper's coming out. I don't want to say, hey, the refs are bad. The refs played the clock too much, P. Ridge. But you're exactly right. After calling back a touchdown on a questionable block, you're not going to give a little bit of leeway. I mean, you... I sure feel like you should. Uh, and they did not. And at could least give a warning. Could yeah. Adams have said anything so colorful that would make an automatic 16-yard penalty without a sideline warning i've been on the sideline uh, for farmington football for several several years and i've heard coach mike adams get after some refs but i have never heard him get so colorful that i would anticipate a call like that with 40 seconds left in the game i can't imagine it's it's a little bit a little bit hard to process to be honest with you and then they come right back on the very next play and throw another 15-yard penalty down on the sideline. So the sideline side judge is not having it. Greatest formation in football, unfortunately, Farmington is not the ones taking it. McAllister takes a knee with 36 seconds to go in the ball game, and that's going to wrap it up. It's a hard fought game. It's, uh, that's another trip to Heartbreak City. The, the Cardinals wanted it so bad. They they fought hard. They fought valiantly. I still very disappointed in the call on that side of the field. That's a tough one. You go from a touchdown run to win the game. Yeah. To, to 30 to yards of penalties. Yes. And Alma in a victory formation. So what a game. It was a, it was it, a it battle was a of the game. red zones. It was. But congrats to all the kids. They're getting out of here healthy. That's exactly right. Uh, Andrew Woods can come out of that pretty good. So yep. He'll be walking it off. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't happen our way tonight. But we live to fight another day. Yep. And we will find out. Hopefully, sometime find this weekend. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, we'll, tomorrow we'll find out. Find out tomorrow where Farmington ends up uh, in the playoff, playoffs. Uh, 
We discussed earlier potential of six different teams. But, you know, guys, look, even though that this outcome had turned out the way that it's turned out, unfavorable for us, in hindsight of it all, thinking back to all the way back to March, where this whole COVID thing started and schools got released and everything else, one good thing about it, regardless of the school board, both teams were on the field. They were playing football. In November. In November. And here we were not four or five months ago. We were worried, quite honestly, whether we'd have A, football in general, B, school on top of that. So. You're exactly right. We had, a, we had a full football season in the middle of a pandemic. Um, this is unprecedented times, and, and I feel like every game was a blessing. Uh, and I've been grateful for everyone, win or loss, because even a hard-fought loss like this is better sitting at home. Yeah, you're exactly right. And for, for all of those seniors, of course, I've got two guys that are joining me tonight. That has, one's got a senior cheerleader. The other one's got a senior on the football team. I mean, you know, to me, not a better way. Well, there is a better way to end the season, but, I mean, coming out of it, dealing with the whole COVID thing, and for you two to be able to see your last game for your kids and to be able to broadcast it. I know John was talking to you uh, earlier last week. It was very important to you. You'd like, no. you'd like to have had the opportunity. And, and Josh, I, I would imagine it's the same for you. Very appreciative of the opportunity to come up here and call this game. To get to talk about these wonderful young men that we've known for the last 18 years. Yes. All young right. men. Last time I checked, Paige Waggles was a young lady. And young ladies. All right. Ooh, ooh, by the way, got to cheer in the end zone. Uh, don't think that they haven't been hit hard, too. There's game, there's away games they couldn't make, and uh, the, the, the restrictions have been loosened, and uh, they were able to come out here and celebrate with uh, the, the players. Yep, it's a great night. I know the cheerleaders are really happy to be here. They love supporting this team, the community. Uh, so just to have an evening like this and reiterate what you guys are saying, beautiful weather out here on the football field. I'm telling you, God is good. He is great, and uh, we're going playoffs, guys. It's not all sad. It's not all bad. You know? Exactly right. And, you know, I mean, here's the thing that we get to look forward to. Not only from the football side of things, we get to look forward to the playoffs next week. But come Tuesday, let's talk about this for a second. Come Tuesday at Farmington Cardinal Arena, the floors are being redone this weekend. Farmington Cardinal Arena, we get to see the 2020-2021 first basketball ball game of the year when the 2019-2020 state champion Farmington Lady Cardinals host the Fort Smith Southside team in Cardinal Arena. It's going to be an exciting week. This is a busy week for sports fans. Cardinal sports fans, this is going to be a fun week. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, forget about the negatives and look for the positive because there's lots of positives to look forward to. And we hope that none of those positives uh, are corona positive as we go forward next week. That is correct. We'd also like to thank our sponsors, Arvest Bank, Flying Burger and Seafood, Speedy Splash Car Wash, LRD Construction, Buzz Electric, Hill Electric, Bauman and Crossno, Nor uh, Northwest, Northwest Arkansas, no, Children's, North of uh, Northwest Arkansas, Children's Hospital of Northwest Arkansas, McNaughton Realty, uh, Matthias Properties, LLC, that the list goes on and on and on. Without you guys, thank you so much. These broadcasts would not be able to, to happen. I'd like to say uh, a big thank you to Alyssa Clevenger, Farmington graduate last year, came back and helped us out for tonight. Got to see her brother play. I'd also like to say thank you to Nick Womack and Clayton Williamson traveling down here to Alma with us to make this happen. Clayton Williamson. What a great student. night. Not Clayton Williams, the principal. That's why we say Clayton Williams' son. Well, you know you say it so fast. <laughs> But nonetheless, Josh and Josh, thank you guys for joining us, and maybe we can team up again next week for the playoff game and do it all over again. Hey, th thanks for having me, and I uh, know Josh feels the same way. Thanks for having us, and uh, see you next week. All right, from Alma Citizen Bank Field in Alma, Arkansas, Alma was victorious over the Cardinals, 8-3. to For Josh Waggle, Josh Matthews, I'm Brian Dean signing off. 
Have a safe drive home, and we'll see you on Tuesday when the Lady Cardinals take the court for the first time in the 2020 season. You've been listening to Farmington Cardinal Football on the Farm Cards Live Sports Network. Good night.